Camden, Camden, do not despair. When hope is shattered by death and doubt. Let's make our sorrow into song to restore a broken city soon. This city should not exist in its condition in the United States. The tragedy is that children have only one chance at, at growing up. And they're growing up in a city with 3,500 abandoned homes. I mean, this house shouldn't go to waste. They shouldn't throw it away. They should let somebody rebuild it. This weekend, an event called the Millennium Concert of Hope will raise money to fix at least one of these homes. If you do one house, and maybe, maybe it'll be an inspiration that other people could come and help. The words of Father Michael Doyle will combine with the sounds of the Haddonfield Symphony to bring together the premiere of an original composition entitled Camden 2000. Chances are this weekend's concert won't feed any hungry families or create any more jobs, but it may bring hope to this ailing city. The poet Walt Whitman had hope for Camden. He lived out the last 20 years of his life here. In a dream, I saw a city invincible. One day, 18-year-old Pedro Rodriguez may see Whitman's dream. I would like to see change. Yeah, everything. But Pedro lives on Arlington Street, a street that's contaminated with radon from a nearby factory. Real bad, real bad. Yeah, this block has been messed up almost up since I was born around here. He's not giving up. An anchor of hope dangles from his neck. Oh, Camden, Camden, rise up and live. Your river mother is always young. She'll give you birth as she did before and break her water in the shining sun.